Now, if you want to learn how to make the lightning like I did in the preview, then make sure to watch. As you saw in the preview, I used this clip over here. Yeah, I'm going to use the same clip, but to save time, I'm only going to use one frame. Now, I'm going to explain how you can do this for multiple frames, but like the main thing I'm just going to show for one frame or else this tutorial is going to be way too long and I don't want to waste your time. So let's get started. So the first thing that you want to do is add a black solid like I just did over here. You can disable it by clicking on this eye and then you want to select the pen tool. You want to zoom in a little and you can make a mask something like this and and i'm just going to go like around his fist which will probably look cool in the end so that's all you got to do and to do it for multiple frames that actually move obviously you want to just press on m mask the path and just whenever a frame moves you want to just zoom in and just you know change the position and do that for each frame that's how you can obviously let this move to all of the moving frames so now you can enable this layer again you can add saber to it just like that go to customize core go to saber layer mask so now it's following the layer mask you want to put the glow intensity to zero because we're going to add our own glow later and then the core size to two as well um so now it looks like this you want to go to distortion core distortion change the distortion amount i'm gonna do 25 but usually i go between 20 and 40 20 looks nice to be honest 35 looks like way too much that's because it's a small mask but if it's like a big mask you can go for a higher value and i'm gonna change the wind speed to uh zero in this case since i'm only gonna do one frame see it moves i want to put the noise speed to zero so it doesn't move but if you're doing multiple moving frames then it's actually pretty cool to have it on one because then it will change see it will change over time and it looks more unique but for now i'm gonna put it in zero because like i said i'm only doing one frame the last thing that you want to do is go to render settings and for composite settings put it to transparent so that's transparent over your clip and yeah that's it so now you got this right now to make it actually look like it's twirling around his arm instead of in front of his arm like it looks now, you can um, pre-compose this layer like this and you can click on the eraser tool, double click on your layer and you can erase some stuff. So I'm going to erase this a little um, like so and then this one. And just, you know, kind of do that until it looks like it's around his arm. Like that. And then I'm going to uh, erase that one again. So as you can see, now it, it really does look like it's twirling around his arm like that, which looks really cool. And if you want to do this for a moving frame, you, you gotta like, it's actually really annoying how this works, but you gotta like move this around and make this for like one frame and then go to the next one and redo the whole process again. That's kind of annoying, but that's basically how it works to uh with this eraser thing. So yeah, if you want to do that, then go ahead. Uh, it really does look better than just leaving it like this. Uh, but it's optional because it does take a lot of time. Once you've done that, you want to go inside the pre-comp. And now we're going to actually animate this. Because um, now it just looks like it's not moving. So you want to go to customize core. Go to the end offset. Put a keyframe over there. Put it to zero. Go to 75% off the clip. Put it to a hundred. So now it goes like that. And then once it's right around here, you can put a start offset as well. Go to the end and put it to like 50%. So now it kind of looks like, you know, it is uh, moving from left to right and it also just disappears a little, uh, which looks pretty nice. Then you can go back um, and now it looks like this. See, so now it really looks like it's twirling around his arm, which looks pretty cool. So then I'm gonna duplicate this layer. I'm gonna go a little bit over here gonna add deep glow or any glow you want but i really like deep glow that's why i always use deep glow just select this over here required for text so transparent then i'm gonna go to 
tint and i'm gonna enable this and here you can see that it now gives this glow and the reason why you want to duplicate it first or else it looks like this and with this there's still like white in the middle which looks way cooler so that's why i kept it like that and then you can basically choose any color you want this one looks pretty nice so this is a quick look in the project file this is how it looked back then the first lightning is just around his arm like that and i i thought you guys in the tutorial that you can use like the eraser tool to make it look better around his arm but i was lazy so i just did a mask with some feather so it looks like this then i added another one around his fist which looks pretty cool like that as you can see and then another one i added that started from his other arm so that went from right to left like that so and then it connected to this one over here so that's pretty cool and all together it looked like yeah this over here you, you can see like each um frame i moved it like that so yeah that's pretty cool i just wanted to give you a quick look into this project file how i did it for a moving frame because i only showed one frame in the tutorial but this is basically it yeah so that's kind of like it i guess this is how you can kind of make the lightning i hope this video helped you out please leave a like and let me know in the comment if it works and i'll see you next time have a good day everyone